What is up, bros? Me, Josh. In today's video, we're gonna go over a pretty nice chappy game I had the other day, and this is a ship that I tend to not really play that much. Um, when I go to tier eight, and I'm thinking Russian cruiser, of course you're gonna go straight to the Kutuzov. Why not? It's insanely strong. It has great credit potential. Um, it's just an insanely strong ship. But something I always forget about, and, and this is a line I actually had a lot of fun in, and I think is is arguably one of the stronger lines in World of Warships. People when they play these ships. Um, the Bidyani, the Chappie, the uh, the Shores, all those kind of ships. They remember getting absolutely obliterated in these ships, but they don't remember how awesome these ships can actually be. High rate of fire, high fire chance, uh, low trajectory, so they're insanely accurate. And, um, of course, when you get into the Chappie, you have radar. So, uh, this is a ship I don't really play that much, but I actually really, really enjoy. And it can be very, very, very effective. We were top tier in this game, luckily. And it was a division of me, a battleship, and a destroyer. So what did we do since they most likely are going to have no, unless the Edinburgh has one for some reason, I'm going to have no radar. I don't normally go this way, but I decided to push the hell out of ACAP. I like to stick with kind of B and C, especially from north side, because ACAP can be such a funnel. But I figured our division could probably beat anything since we had a battleship. Even though our battleship on the map spawned a little bit behind us, we had some cover anyway. And I figured since we saw a destroyer here, um, there's obviously two ships there. I could just push right in and absolutely destroy that and, of course, work with the radar. So, um... Pretty easy push right here. I, I wasn't exactly sure. You can tell, um, you can tell there's always more. You can kind of tell how many ships are on cap by how fast the 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 cap is capping. By the way, too, if you're ever wondering. So one that the ship had been there for a while, but there is actually I think there was actually two ships on that cap at one point. I think there was one more cruise. I know the the destroyer had been there for so long, um, but I figured I could push support my DD. He has sonar up. Um, the Edinburgh, I wish it would have had a little AP loaded, but, I mean, we're in a really good spot to just put a massive amount of pressure on these guys. Uh, we have Edinburgh off to our right, we have the Shinona May right here. Um, we need to just take out the Shinona May because we need to get rid of the destroyers and hopefully not get blopped by one of these Bismarcks that are working on it. So, Gero, I'm going to pump in a little bit of damage. I think I snag him right here. And I can start focusing on these two. So, we have a Shores in front of me. There's the first kill right there. Shores in front of me at Edinburgh. So, this is a little dicey, but we know that we know that their torps are out. So that's good for us, right? So we can be a little aggressive here. And what I did, get the AP loaded. The Edinburgh is going to be a nice sailing broadside for me because he's just wonderful. And I popped the radar early to see where they were. So I think I am starting to slow down right here. But broadside Edinburgh, I'll take that. We say basically bow on. I gave him a little extra there, but just chunking him down right now. Absolutely chunking him down. I think I got just greedy right here um, and probably took a little bit extra damage, but um, on that first level because of it. But there are the torps that we were kind of worrying about. Now, Edinburgh is going to overturn. You can tell because he panic smoke. So, what is he going to do? He panic smoke. He was going way too fast. And um, so, I was basically just going to wait for him to overturn because he's going to try to use the smoke and chunk him down more. We've pumped six citadels into this dude. He's been able to repair. Um, some, I think some torps went out right there, but, uh, boom, another citadel down he goes, and now I just have the shores to deal with, so hopefully the shores turns nice and broadside for me, I didn't know if he would, but of course, there's the turn, there's the broadside, I can just bow tank him, two more citadels, torps are out, and I just sped up just enough, just enough, but this is just a, a, a like a citadel buffet right now, um, the shores is gonna turn just a little bit here, so it's not gonna be as good, but, uh, Right there, there he is. There, that's about all I need to get my my citadels in, so and get the bat guns out. I got a little greedy right here, but I think it's kind of worth it. Um, he's launching HE and not sticking with AP, and I think I get him on the south right here, nice along the waterline. And boom, he does snag me a little bit there, so he did load it. So it was a nice little 10k salvo he got. He's going down, but 13 citadels, three kills. He got the the first three out of the way, so um. He did get me with a nice little parting gift of a 10,000 salvo, but still, we took him down. And um, I know uh, in comms, my uh, low yang was giving me crap, so we launched a nice little friendly one at him. But we demolished the side uh, with really just me and the destroyer, um, with a little bit of extra help from the destroyer behind us. But as you can see, these guys didn't really do anything, so they were kind of just out in the middle of nowhere. They didn't push in. These guys literally came here and just kind of like circled back. So it was literally me 
Um, with a couple DD supports and our battleship was able to put in some damage too. But he's kind of focusing on the guys in the middle. So we we're just able to put some pressure on. We got a cap, and they're nowhere near. As you can see on the east side of the map, they are just completely filled over there. So we have a Colorado max life. We have a New Mexico. It's very full life, and those guys are just chilling behind the island, so not too much is going to be coming out of those guys, but now we have an incredible chance to just absolutely flank these guys, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's just this battleship off to our right, so what you can usually do in most situations like this is just let him be useless. He's not going to do anything. If he comes and caps, one of the destroyers can go get him, so the, the battleship that's off to our right, to the south, just let him go there. I'm hoping this doesn't block me, but... Um, help with the guys in the middle, help take down uh, one of their better Bismarcks and just really get him out of the middle so we can kind of cap that and push them more onto the 9 and 10 lines. Um, if you ever see that situation, if you ever see like a random battleship just kind of YOLOing, you see it a lot with Bismarcks, a lot with some premium ships as well. It tends to be somebody that doesn't really know map awareness and map placement and um, the kind of the, the situational aspect of, of the game. Just let them do their thing because He's basically just free farm. That's all he is. Um, he's not going to do anything special. He's just going to waste time. and just So just let him. There's no reason for us, our division, to go chase that guy because he's not going to do anything. So always keep that in mind when you guys are playing, too. Um, to just If somebody is going to be worthless, let them be worthless. You know, just, just don't force it on them. So, or don't force something out of them. So there you go. Fourth kill is down. We got out of there with almost no damage, which was nice, too. We took a, maybe like a 1,000 out of that. But the first four kills are ours. We did snag that one. So um, but we can start burning down the rest of these ships because they're starting to make some progress west, and that's what we kind of need to not do. But I need to be very careful because I'm a cruiser. That's a battleship. There's multiple battleships still in this game, four of them. One to our south as well, which are... All right, so boom. This is what I was really worried about is, going, is getting lit on fire and then focusing getting focused by the multiple battleships or getting lit on fire again because I'm super, super low on life, especially if a Fuso randomly catches me. Um, also, one good trick, too. I don't know if a lot of people know this. And uh, if you guys are ever in a cruiser or something like that that has torpedoes and you're not sure if something's moving, uh, going forward, going backwards, one thing you can always do is just target them. Um, target them and then just with your torpedoes and just kind of see where they're going. So it's always a nice little trick right there. If you guys didn't know that, you can then uh, um, see if they're going to be moving forward, moving backwards, if they're staying still. So just a little trick right there. That's what I did with that destroyer to see if he was moving. And um, so if you guys didn't know that, it does work. Uh, sadly, it's just for stuff that has torpedoes. So, but so far, we're raining down fire. We have three fires already, four fires. Um, almost 100,000 damage, four kills, and 13 citadels thanking the Edinburgh and the Shores. So me right now, I just need to worry about these little battleships. Luckily, the King George is shooting HE at me, although it hurt like a bitch. Um, it is HE that probably would have killed me if it was AP. Um, but now all the battleships are just shooting HE, so most of the time if you're a cruiser chilling broadside, it's not the worst thing in the world because um, I know some of the eight, some of the HE salvos will citadel certain ships, if their armor is thin enough, but uh, most of the time you can take a big salvo and it's going to knock out your AA, might knock out your your, torp your torps, might do something like that, um, but you're not going to take that much damage. So he probably would have killed me if he shot AP, but since he's a Royal Navy battleship and all they do is shoot HE these days, um, we basically got out of there alive. So we have to be very careful. If Fuso's burning, um, we have less than 4,000 life. It would be nice to get that 10k salvo back. And we're going to try to pay back that guy with a little bit extra damage. But there's the Miyoko that's going to beach. That's some good free farm right there. I mean, as you can see, too, look look down south. That that Bismarck is now just getting into the game. It is now just getting to do something productive. So um, let them do that. If I would have chased them, potentially I would have been dead already. We wouldn't have had probably B cap as fast as we had. And now we're pushing them back towards. They were making some progress towards B. And now we're pushing them back towards the 9 and 10 line. So um, our battleship ends up getting the trade, which actually was pretty solid because their guy was full life and our guy was, our battleship uh, was like half, if not lower. So decent little trade right there, a Monarch for a, uh, a Bismarck. And we are just absolutely punishing this Miyoko. And I think we get the Kraken. I don't know if it's on this salvo or next salvo. I think it might be right there. 
So there you go. So we snuck that one out. Actually, I'm surprised the torpedo didn't, didn't get the kill right there. But there is the Kraken still pumping out some fire damage at 131,000. We got the Confederate as well. And so right now, it's just me picking my fights very carefully because I have such low life. And now the uh, New Mexico that was chilling on the top is still is now getting into a fight. So that's awesome. I'll be careful that like King George is trying to hit us. I think we have the... Uh, um, the Colorado behind us as well. That's like still full life. So, um, one thing I popped the radar. I didn't know where the DD was, and now, boom, there it is. And uh, I didn't know. I could see the fire from this Cleveland, but I wasn't exactly sure where he really was. And so I got really nervous right here. I thought I was gonna die um, from this guy because he didn't quite have an angle. But I figured if I could get one one salvo on this guy, as you can see right there, I just used the trick. So he wasn't moving. Um, I figured I could maybe get a salvo on this guy, kill him, and then that would free up our New Mexico. And uh, there, there he is. He's just chilling. So we able to get some more damage. Our New Mex basically hung in the back the entire game, and once he got near anything that could deal damage, he uh, basically hundred to zeroed in just a couple minutes. But uh, that's all right. He was a distraction at least for the Cleveland. Cleveland reps the one fire, and. Um, Gets a couple shots on me, so I got a little scared here. But we were able to get another fire on him. And that sealed the deal. He's going to burn out right there. And uh, we were able to get a little bit more damage on him. So Cleveland's going to go down. Luckily, he did rip that fire, and we got that nice little um, thing. That's another thing, too, I see a lot of people do, is they don't have faith in their shot. They, they just don't have faith in their shot, and then they just don't really... If they can't see something... I've, I've watched people, they can't see something, and then they just straight up... Um, I don't know why I did that shot. They just straight up will, like, not shoot at something. If you have, like, right there, that Cleveland, if that Cleveland went undetected and I just didn't shoot, he he would have got away. But a lot of people just, you should have faith in your shot. What source is going to happen? It's going to miss, and then no big deal. You're worth it, especially if you're in a battleship. I mean, if you're in a battleship, you only have so many salvos each game, and um, you need to make as, as much potential damage as you can. So um, just have faith in your shot. Go for it. What's the worst thing you're gonna do is miss, and then you go. You can either like get used to it, or or you can like kind of get the situations right where um, taking a random shot is gonna be nice. So um, and actually get you. But anyways, six kills so far, thirteen citadels. That was insane. The thirteen citadels happened in like the first few minutes. Almost 150, 145 thousand damage in the champion. A ship I don't play that much. There's another kill right there. So boom, decent credits, decent all around. Um, let me know in the comments below what ship you guys don't really, you guys kind of forget about. I'm always kind of interested. For me, it's the Chappie, the Shores, those kind of ships I don't play a lot because there's like other ships at those tiers. And they're fun ships to go back to and play. Let me know in the comments below what ships you guys um, like to revisit every once in a while that you kind of quote unquote forget about. I'd be interested. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Nice little Chappie game. Um, more to come, guys. So remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.